Okay, let's talk about Apple's AirPods Max. These are very expensive. At 550 US dollars, these are just so much more expensive than people would have imagined a pair of wireless over-ear headphones to cost, even if they'd come from Apple. There's just, the price tag is something else. Now, when Apple pushes a product onto the market, especially something that is their kind of first attempt at, they usually bring out something that is difficult to compare to the other players, right? They don't just make clones of the other products, the other competitors. They tend to just make something that's slightly different and they tend to focus on characteristics and features that other people aren't. And in this case, they focused, well, the big thing is design, right? This does not look like your standard pair of headphones. They just don't. They're very Apple-like. And when you look at them, you compare them to other popular active noise cancellation headphones, these just look distinctly different. And then you combo that with different colored ear cups and the ability to customize the different colors of ear cushions. It is just built differently. This is a completely different type of headphone look compared to everything else on the market. Now that doesn't make it worth $550, right? The aesthetics of a pair of headphones is only so important and only so valuable, but right off the rip, these are different. The AirPods Max are built really well. There's no way to deny that, right? There's a lot of metal going on in construction and the build quality and finish is just really well done. If you compare them to Sony's XM4s, I've never ever thought that these were poorly made in any sense, right? I've always thought that these were really well built, but they're plastic, right? There's a lot of plastic in this construction. It's just a different class of product when you compare it to the build quality of the AirPods Max. That being said, is it really worth paying extra just for metal ear cups? Who knows, but let's be real here. These are milled out from a single block of aluminum. There's no seams, it's just one piece, machine time, and there's two of them. This doesn't come cheap. Now, metal ear cups give the AirPods Max a very distinct look, but it introduces a couple issues. Number one, weight. These are definitely heavier than your average pair of wireless headphones out there. But secondly, durability, I don't mean like breakage, I think these are very well made. I don't think they'll break, but in terms of the aluminum, I think right, they, they can scratch. They can be damaged quite easily if you don't take good care of them. The fact that they include a case when you buy them, it's just very obvious that these are delicate in terms of their finish. Like when was the last time Apple included a case, like a protective case, when you bought a product. It's always some kind of third party thing they sell you, but in this case, they gotta put it in because they know that they are relatively delicate. Now, in terms of their fit, the headbands have a fully adjustable arm. Like you can just put them to whatever position you want instead of having the kind of ratcheted clicks. I didn't think that'd make a big difference because all the headphones I've ever used have had clicks and I've been perfectly happy with them, but these are, they're better. They just you know, being able to do those small adjustments does make a difference. Now, for me personally, I don't like the weight. I think this is gonna be very subjective, right? Depending on the way that it sits on your head and just your head shape, this is gonna feel differently for everybody. But for me personally, I can feel that these are heavier than all of my headphones that I've owned before. That doesn't mean to say that they're uncomfortable, they're just noticeably heavier. I did go for a run with them, even though they're clearly not meant for that, but I was just curious to see what that experience was like. And there's just so much mass to these that every step you take, like there's just the momentum of them going up and down, it's not a good experience. The mesh on the top is also a little bit different from anything else I've used before in this category. And I was hopeful that maybe they'd created a product that for people like me that wear their hair up, that it would just kind of help with keeping your hair unflattened over time, but it'll still flatten your hair. So if you care about that, now you know. Um, okay. I wanna talk about the controls. So there's two components here. There's a button for turning active noise cancellation on and off, and then there's also a jog dial, which is very similar to the crown that you see on the Apple Watch. Now the button up front, the noise cancellation button, it's in a great spot, works as intended. We'll get into the kind of sound quality in a little bit, but in terms of the controls, it works perfectly. The crown is distinctly Apple and it does look really neat, but I'd prefer my buttons on the bottom. Maybe I'm just used to it because all the other wireless headphones I've ever used that had controls on the bottom or the back, but this is now on the top. It looks nice, but I don't think it really provides a better experience per se than having regular buttons on a pair of headphones. 
The battery life on these are rated for 20 hours, which seems pretty decent, like any kind of electronic device that can last 20 hours unplugged is usually pretty good, but in this product category, we're dealing with competitors that have 30, 35 hours of battery life. So it doesn't really stick out as being great, but that being said, I do think that most people using this device will be perfectly happy with 20, but just for the people that travel frequently and you go through stretches where you just don't have access to a plug, it is something to keep in mind. Okay, let's talk about sound because sound is, I mean, it's really important when it comes to $550 headphones. I'm gonna compare them most to these guys, the XM4s. Do they sound better? That's the question, right? I think they do. I do think that these are a better sounding pair of headphones than the Sony XM4s. Well, let's just talk about the Sonys first. I've always liked the sound of these and for the type of music I listen to, they're particularly good. I listen to a lot of EDM and there's a lot of, like the bass on these is nice. It's thumpy, it's rich, it's just like a nice bassy sound. However, if you're listening to stuff that has more higher frequencies, like let's say you're listening to classical music, which I also really enjoy, on the Sonys, I've always found that sound to just be a little darker. They, like the bass is just too enriched on these. You can always adjust it, but at stock, they've had a thicker sound with the lower frequencies. The AirPods Max, they're just brighter. The other thing is a wider sound stage. AirPods Max have better instrument separation and just more width to the audio profile than Sony's XM4s. Now in terms of noise cancellation, Sony's XM4s are arguably the best in the business right now, right? These are very well reviewed and having spent the past few days trying to discern the differences between them, they're very similar in terms of their noise cancellation capabilities. I would say that Sony's XM4s are better at removing a consistent environmental sound. Like let's say in the background, someone's got a hair dryer going. These are better at reducing that kind of sound, but I feel like the AirPods Max are better at like voices or just sound that is less consistent. So if something pops up, like a kid is talking in the background or someone else is watching a TV show, these are better, slightly better at removing that kind of sound. But yeah, I feel like I'm splitting hairs. They're both really, really good. And I don't think you can pick one or the other just over their noise cancellation capabilities. Now, in terms of their mics, here's what they sound like. This is what the mic sounds like in a quiet room. But now there's water running and a hairdryer and Rogan's podcast running on in the background. And my voice is obviously not as clean as before. Now I'm recording off the Sony's and this is my voice in a quiet environment. And once again, we have a tap running, a hairdryer and Rogan's podcast in the background. And my voice should obviously be worse than the previous recording. I think they're both really good, but I feel like the AirPods Max are slightly better at removing environmental sounds from your voice when you're using the microphone. Uh, one of the things, spatial audio. So AirPods Max and AirPods Pro have something called spatial audio. It seems a little gimmicky until you actually experience it. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it just gives you this very immersive experience when it comes to watching shows or movies. It's really hard to describe in a video, so I'll be honest, I'm not even gonna bother trying, but it allows you to move your head around and the, the sound sources will move in correlation with the screen and the earphones. Do with that information as you will. Now, I wanna wrap up this video with pricing because this is an important one. So the price point, $550. This is, it's expensive, right? And okay, I wanna open up this conversation with the topic of Apple's pricing strategies. Apple is really, really good at pricing their stuff, right? They take a lot of stuff in consideration. They have a team, I'm sure, these They've, they've mathed it out, right? They've done all the calculations. They take all the stuff into consideration. What is this product for? Who are we trying to sell it to? Does this product lure people into our ecosystem? Does it trap people into our ecosystem? That sounds terrible, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? They take a lot of things into consideration when they price these things. It's not just some number they pull out of their butt, right? Okay, $550. These are not a good value. It doesn't matter how you spin it. These are expensive. Now, they're not meant to be a good value. They're meant to be a premium luxury product from Apple that's designed to be priced in a way that Apple can make money, right? They've obviously priced this thing at that perfect point where 
it's expensive enough that they, they can make as much money as possible without it being too expensive to repel people away from purchasing it, right? That's the sweet spot when it comes to a product like this. And if you look at Apple's website, these things are sold out. Like they're literally sold out until March in every color. So it doesn't matter how expensive I think they are or how expensive you think they are, clearly people are just buying them. So for Apple, these are priced perfectly. If anything, Apple probably could have charged more and still be sold out with them right now, which is crazy. There is so much inertia to this brand. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. I'll see you guys next time. What do you think of the AirPods Max?